now we are going to start the topic that is a controlled inverter uh, listen students the con uh, this problem okay this problem is very much important <coughs> controlled inverter in this control inverter the main part which is in this topic it is a x or gate okay by using that particular x or gate we are able to solve the control value either it may be 1 or either it may be 0 so the main part which is connected it is a x or gate here it is a x or gate okay x y here you may write down a or b a or b so here you will be getting the output that is y is equal to a plus circle y is equal to a plus circle b or you may a bar b plus a b bar this is the output equation for that particular x or gate for a mean while we will write down the truth table also a b that is 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 and the output y is equal to a plus circle b that is 0 1 1 and 0 this is the truth table which we will be getting for the output for the xor gate now in this control inverter the inverter is nothing but wherever we are getting the giving the input that is high or a low output may be again will be get fluctuated that is from high to low and low to high okay so in this control inverter the different eight bit registers is going to be considered that 8 bit register in a microcomputer or in a microprocessor you have like this suppose it is a 8 bit register suppose it is a 8 bit register like this in this 8 bit register you have the value which is going to be start that is a0 a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 a6 and a7 okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 starting from 0 ends to 7 will give you the 8 bit value okay from this particular input value a0 to a7 all this inputted value is going to be get connected with a x or gate and the one input the first number input of all the gate is going to be get connected with the inverter so that the output will be get fluctuated okay now how it will work like this consider this to be get connected with the first x or gate like this you draw the x or gate the different x or gate has to be get drawn Wait a minute, just a minute. The first XOR gate, second XOR gate, third, here you will be obtaining the Y0, Y1, Y2, Y3 y4 then 5 then 6 and then 7 so we will draw here That is A0, A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6, A7. It is a 8 bit register. It is a 8 bit register. Okay. Now we have drawn this one diagram and we have the 8 bit register with the input that is A0, A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6, and A7. Now 
this particular value ha the first input is to be get connected with a a0 then each gate each xor gate you just connect the one input like this okay then the second number input of the xor gate has to be get connected with a name that is a inverter okay just you make hold the connection you make whole connection like this and you just connect all the value and you give the name inverter okay you write down that particular inverter in a capital also or just in a short form that is ing now in this particular inverter the inverter input is low when and uh, when the inverter input is low you will be getting it transmit the register word whenever it is low it transmit all that particular word to the output of the this particular xor gate so when this a0 to a7 you will be getting like this suppose a0 a1 a3 a4 a5 a6 and a7 so it is 1 1 0 1 0 1 1 0 okay if we are not giving this input okay then here the output you will be obtaining that is y0 y1 y2 y3 y4 y5 y6 and y7 the same output will be get at the y0 that is 1 1 y0 as a 1 y1 as a 1 0 1 0 1 1 0 but as soon as this inverter value is going to be make as a low then ultimately this output will be get reflected okay students and then this output will be get converted into the form of a 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 and 1 so from this you may say that the value for the value for y0 to y7 is this one since you may say that by controlling this particular one input of the xor gate this control inverter is going to be get work okay whenever the complement is going to be occurred we have that particular complement since you may say that the one's complement is going to be occurred in this value okay so this control inverter occupies that particular value and you will be obtaining the value y0 is equal to 0 y1 is equal to 0 y2 is equal to 1 y3 is equal to 0 y4 is equal to 1 y5 is equal to 0 y6 is equal to 0 and y7 is equal to 1 okay students so it is a top for the control inverter in after this one we will be seeing the uh, adder there are the various adders we have to consider we have to see that adder will be start in the next topic